Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do another swipe um, with silicone, with oil in. Um, I did this rainbow swipe, patchwork swipe, um, yeah, a few days ago, a week ago or so, and just thoroughly enjoyed creating it. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and I was so pleasantly surprised, so happy with it. Um, it's obviously full on bright rainbow. So I'm going to go again, but with um, a much sort of softer, classier colour scheme. Um, so I'm really excited just to get started. These are the colours I'm using. So I finished the top of this. This is Amsterdam Venetian Rose, one of my favourite, favourite colours. Um, Amsterdam Carmine, Montmartre Gold, this one is De La Rowney System 3 Acrylic Deep Violet and then De La Rowney Graduate Acrylic Pearl White. So they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. So I've made my pouring medium two parts PVA glue to one part put water and then I've mixed that about three to two. So three parts pouring medium to two parts paint. Um, and then I'm going to add in some coconut hair serum, just a couple of drops in each cup um, to create the oil, to put the oil in to create so I can create some lovely cells with the swipe. The canvas I'm using is a 60 by 42 centimeter. Um, I've hammered in push pins into the back. I've checked that it's level. It's a reused canvas. You can see some design underneath here. So this was an old pour, which I didn't like. So I've just put some gesso over the top just to prime it. And it gives a really rough finish. Um, so that the new paints will stick to it. You don't have to apply the gesso, um, but often if you've used um, some sort of PVA glue within the pour or something quite shiny, it's just less likely to stick. So chalkier finish just means it's going to stick better. So my idea is to do um, a sort of diagonal pattern with all of the, the um, paints and then swipe at right angles, at sort of perpendicular to the to the shape of the canvas. Um, so I'm going to do, it's going to be a sort of diagonal, but I think I'm going to do a bit of a, a wavy diagonal line. Now there's a bit too much paint in that pop cup. I think I'm going to put some in a smaller cup to pour it. So I've just taken some paint out so that it will be easier to pour. So I'm going to go in a bit of an S shape. Yeah, good, happy with that. I'm going to do the lines and then I'm going to come and fill them in afterwards. That wasn't very parallel, was it? Oh well. I'm now ready to start swiping. My plan for swiping is to do come down and then across and then down. So each time you do a swipe, the there's a little bit of a collection of paint there. So at the end, so what I will then do is swipe against it to push the paint along that way and down and down. So basically I'm gonna be pushing some off the end of the canvas. That pink, that Venetian rose, I found a few lumps in and I think it's because it was the end of that tub. I didn't notice it when I was mixing, um, but I think because it's the end of the tub, I must have scraped around the side of the pot um, and, and picked up a few little bits of dry paint. So I'm using a little piece of plastic. It's a couple of inches wide, maybe two and a half. Um, so here it goes. Um, so I'm going to try and do it in a sort of methodical order, I think. So I'm just touching it on the edge and then I'm just going to pull down 
to about like that. So I'm going to lift it off so you can see there, there's a nice swampy bit of paint. So what I'm going to do, I wipe my swiper. I'm then going to swipe across the other way so that then disappears. swiping now I ended up going over quite a few of the swipes again just to blend the colours a little bit more um, also I had this grand plan of this this lovely zigzag down and then following it down on top it just didn't work out and I think that's because um, I, I haven't been able to keep all the rectangles the same size uh, because it's just by eye and it's that's just not possible so it didn't really work out so I ended up going a little bit more freestyle um, so there's some cells popping up. I'm going to torch, but I'm going to try and torch quite gently, quite lightly, not to get too close to start with. Right, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to leave it for a minute. Let these cells expand and come back. I've just made a really bold, brave decision. And that decision is that I don't like it. Um, the gold is there's too much gold and it's I'm totally losing the structure of this, the, the patchwork effect. So <laughs> I'm going to swipe over it again. Um, I think I've got enough paint on here. I'm going to drizzle a little bit more of the other colours um, over this gold to try and... So I, when I re-swipe, I'm hoping I can lose some of that gold or the, the, main, the really big chunks of gold. Could be wrecking it and I could really, I could really regret this, but I won't know unless I try. Right, that's all my paint on. I'll just give that a minute just to sort of settle down a little bit because now there's some bits that are raised and some bits aren't. Um, the other thing, problem I think I had is I think my swiper was too small. So I've just cut out some um, some larger swipers. So this is some paper that's laminated. Um, so again, it's plasticky, but it's, it's quite nice and firm. And I'm going to do the same again. Do you know, I think I might just start from the centre though. I think that corner, especially where I've started, is quite thin on paint.
I think my gamble has paid off because I feel so much happier with this. Um, several things are different. So first of all, you don't have that massive gold section. The gold is gone. You've got a bit of gold section there and there, but that's fine. It balances perfectly with the other colours. The big, big difference is that I have now created squares, not rectangles. So because this piece of um, uh, uh, laminated paper was wider, I just I started here and then I just realised I was creating squares. So this half was kind of my made, my made squares by accident. This half then became my deliberately made squares. And I think that works really well. Second thing is because it's bigger, there's less patchwork. So it's obviously very chaotic as a painting. But because there's now less patchworks, I think that works a lot better. The other thing I did, I don't know if you're aware of it, is I tried torching, first of all, just in the centre. And then I realised if I just press the button on the blowtorch, so I just get single bursts, I could burst the, um, get some cells in the corners. So you'll see that along a lot of these squares, there's actually, the edges are quite nicely intact. So I, I think I've been able to keep the edge of the squares more obvious so you can see I've, I've just tried to be a bit cleverer about where I've torched whereas first time round I just torched everywhere um, I think probably I have still over torched but that's just what I do um, that's fine um, but you can see you can see the edges much more clearly um, and I'm so happy it hasn't muddied I wondered if by swiping again would this muddy and it hasn't so I'm so incredibly happy that I redid this. It just wasn't sitting. I just couldn't leave it. You know, I finished. I finished filming. I was packing up and it was sitting there. And I was thinking, I just, it just not, isn't right. So I am, the gamble's paid off as far as I'm concerned. I'm really, really happy that I have swiped again. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the dry result. I'm so happy with it. Such a good decision to go again with the swipes. Um, it works because the swipes are larger. The patch uh, works squares are larger. Um, you definitely can see the edges of the squares really easily. I haven't gone over and done any embellishing. I was going to even, I was thinking about painting some extra lines on just to emphasize the squares, but you, I just don't need to. Um, look at the cells they're so pretty so beautiful cells but then you've got you can see the background beneath as well which i really like some of the cells are pushing over into the uh, pushing the boundary into the next box but you've got enough spare negative space around the edges of these squares i think to show the edges nicely um, the colour scheme is just amazing. Love these colours. These are the same colours that I've used for several of my Dutch pours, my Catherine Wheel Dutch pour and my Pinwheel Dutch pour. Um, really, it's probably my favourite colour scheme, this. Um, yeah, so, so, so happy with it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I still think I prefer the rainbow one, um, but then that's just because of the brightness of the colours. Um, I feel it's maybe works slightly better, but this is a very close second. I love the I love the fact that they're squares. I think that's what this one this one has, whereas the other one doesn't. So yeah, really happy. Do leave me a comment. I would love to know what other people think of this style and this technique. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.